What if you could destroy your fears once and for all by following a very simple mental algorithm? I'm gonna share with you what is the thing that I do every time a fear arises in my life so I never let fears interfere with what I need to do. Let's get to it. Hey, I'm Leon Castillo, founder of Submaster, we're a high performance training company that helps entrepreneurs scale their businesses by solving their silent bottleneck. We transform the unproductive overwhelming and focused entrepreneurs into laser-focused business athletes that can achieve in one day what they previously achieved in one week. Before we get into the video, remember to subscribe and hit the bell so not only you don't miss any of the juicy videos that we share every week, but you also get a notification when we release the programs and courses on productivity and performance that we're giving away for free to our subscribers. So don't miss out on that. So today I want to talk about fear, which is something that is prevalent among entrepreneurs. There's a thousand different shades of fear that you can experiment when you are building a business. Fear of failure, fear of success, fear of change, fear of pitching to investors, fear to pitching to clients, fear of selling, doesn't matter. There's a thousand different shades of fear that you could experience at any given moment in your entrepreneurial career. And I'm here to tell you that none of those matter because all of them are an illusion. If you think about it, fear is an illusion based on a distorted value management of a situation. So essentially fear manifests when you think you are not going to get something you want or you're going to lose something you already got. That's when you start fearing it right? If you are afraid of the dark, it's because you fear for your life because you don't know what the dark holds for you. If you fear pitching to investors, it's because you fear not being able to get that funding that can keep your business open. Whatever it is that you fear, all of that is an illusion and it has to be treated as such. And today I want to share the framework, the mental algorithm that I use every single day that for whatever reason, I catch myself fearing something. Remember that I have a video called How I Eliminate Fear that you can also check and I'm gonna link it somewhere around here. So the first thing you need to do is understand what is the fear about? Where does it come from? Why does it manifest? Is it a fear of success, a fear of failure, fear of public speaking, fear of selling? What is it? If you do not understand why are you afraid of, you cannot destroy that fear. So the first thing is to be super mindful about it. What is it? And once you have that, you need to identify what is the situation that needs to be managed here. If you have a fear of public speaking, what needs to be managed is your ability to deliver a speech. And that is based on your confidence level, on your skill level, on a, on a series of things that can be worked and trained so that you are able to deliver that speech. If you have a fear of failure in business, well, there's a myriad of things that have to be managed to make sure you do not fail, but it can be managed depending on the issues you're facing. A cash flow issue, a marketing issue, lead generation, doesn't matter matter. Whatever it is that is causing you to fear, there's a situation that can be managed in order to eliminate the root cause of that fear. Three, and this is very important, suffocate them. You do not really eliminate fear, you suffocate it. And you do so by doing things. If you're moving very fast in your day to day and you're working on your bottlenecks, which lead to fears on your day to day in the fastest fashion, you will exhaust the oxygen. Those negative emotions need to survive. If you're constantly working on solving your problems. There's no time for fear because you're pushing yourself towards solving them. This is why, as one of our mentors said, an empty calendar breeds the devil. So the idea is that if you're constantly working on what needs to be done, then it is very easy to actually get it done. And entertaining negative thoughts not only proves that there's not enough emotional maturity, it also proves that the level of action you're operating at is not enough. Four, and this is very useful, it's been done since the ancient times, create dry runs, or as the Stoics used to say, premeditatio malorum, which is create a mental picture of everything that can go wrong, everything that you fear going forward and create contingency plans in your head in case those fears manifest, in case those situations to be managed effectively end up showing up. Remember, the only 15% based on research end up manifesting. And this reminds me of Andy Grove, the CEO of Intel 30 years ago, who said that 
only the paranoid survive. Only the, you know, the constant lookout for threats are actually able to survive. So doing this exercise is very useful to protect yourself. And finally, get some perspective. Understand that you are not going to get out of this world alive, nor am I. So the best way to live is to actually be facing your fears as often as possible, because in the end, you exhaust all your fears and you're a fearless individual. So the idea is that it is inevitable to, as you climb up the corporate ladder or you grow in your business, new things will manifest, new fears will show up, fears that you never had to deal with before. But the goal is to go towards them and destroy them by exhausting the oxygen they need to survive, by working against them as fast as you can. So really get perspective. Everything is an illusion. Have fun building your business and you will be much more prepared to deal with those fears. In the end, it all boils down to what Theodore Roosevelt, the American president, famously said over a century ago. Far better it is to dare mighty things, to win glorious triumph, even through checkered by failure, than to rank with those poor spirits who neither enjoy nor suffer much because they live in a great twilight that knows nor victory nor defeat. The most important thing you can do in your life is to actually live it. So never get caught up in fear because it is an illusion and you cannot orient your life based on illusions. See you in the next video.